Ahoy hoy, it's the lovely Mary here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about saturated salt solutions. I have a very special experiment that I tested out and I thought was pretty cool and thought, meh, why not share with the rest of the world? So, what is crystallization? Well, basically, crystallization, it's the separation between a solid that has been dissolved already in a liquid, in this case, salt. As the solvent evaporates, the saturated solution allows crystals to form over time, in this case, salt, okay? Just so we're clear on what we're doing right now. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need salt, a lot of it, a cup, something to stir with. I use a chopstick. Of course, we're gonna need some water. We're gonna need a flat surface where to pour this solution when we are done. So you're gonna add a lot of salt to the water. Sorry, I don't really have ratios. To me, it was just kind of eyeballing it. Again, science teaching at its finest. So the solution you should just know would be very, very cloudy to the point where you're not really even dissolving that much anymore. And so at this point, you could stop and do an ocean density experiment. You can drop a boiled egg or a carrot or whatever and watch it float. And you can even get it to float at different parts in the cup depending on how salty it is basically and I did that actually another day which is what inspired me the second part to make this video so after you're done stirring everything and getting it all nice and cloudy you need to have some sort of flat surface I just use a crayon box lid that I had nothing fancy you know you can have students at this point make predictions and you can even have them start observing daily for results in this case I had already done an ocean density experiment so I didn't do that portion of it but you'll see I feel like this is something in the future I would try to do and after three days later again I let it sit and no it's not magic the lid color did not change but actually I used a pink lid prior to filming like I said I had done this already and with the leftover solution I had, I thought, let's see what happens when I pour it on a lid and left it to dry those three days. And so, like I said before, I hadn't actually done this other part. And you'll notice just going through here that it makes some pretty cool stuff. You notice that it just came from table salt. And now you got these about, some of them are about up to a centimeter long and maybe two millimeters thick. And you'll just notice that it's just really cool looking. And actually, um, if you have a magnifying glass or microscope, it would look awesome under it it's really hard to capture it on film but essentially it just looks like one small square in the center and then square around it square around it square around it and it's actually really cool looking so then after that you know you just got something cool my students really enjoyed it and you know if you wanted to you could even put it back and smash it up and try to get those granules back I didn't go that far but I mean the sky is the limit on it honestly when it comes to science so really that's all I have for you and I hope you enjoyed it I know it's kind of silly kind of short kind of random I'm sure it's been done before but this is just I love science so much I just like to do spur of the moment type of things based on knowledge I had already done in ocean density before and so this was a way for me to extend the lesson because my students really just weren't understanding that you know where that salt comes back they saw pictures of the Dead Sea and they were like where did these where did this come from why does it look like snow and they just could not understand the fact that when it evaporated it crystallized it left that salt there and so after doing this experiment some of them were like whoa it's just like the Dead Sea and I was like exactly that's exactly what's happening so that was a good way to kind of cement that knowledge into their brain so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too long or too boring but anyways I'm looking forward to doing possibly some more science experiments let me know if you enjoyed this you can just leave me a comment or a like and Maybe I'll do some more. I have quite a few experiments under my belt. I love doing science and science related things. So let me know what you think. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end of the video.